Getting locked out of your Apple ID is the worst, and it really is a big deal because you can't access uh, downloading apps from the App Store, uh, you can't get your iCloud um, email if you use that for email. Um, now, what most commonly happens is people forget their password. And so I wanted to make a quick video just to go over some things you can do uh, to recover that password so that you can get access to your Apple ID. So let's dive in. Now first, just a quick warning, uh, something not to do. Um, if you go in and you don't know your Apple ID password and you just start typing in and guessing, um, you're gonna get locked out of your account after about three to five tries. And Apple generally keeps those locked down for a few hours all the way up to about 24 hours. Um, and so you can end up in a situation where you're just gonna have to wait. So instead of just typing in passwords and guessing, uh, try one of these options uh, as far as resetting your password and that might save you some time. So if you have set up two-factor authentication on an iOS device, it's actually pretty easy to reset your password. So what you want to do is hop into the settings app. Uh, once you do that, go to your Apple ID, uh, and then there's an option that says password and security, go to that. Uh, and then once you do, you're going to see right there towards the top, just your option to change password. Now, first of all, you can take a look here and make sure that you've got two-factor authentication on. Um, so if you select the change password option, uh, you're just going to need to put in your iPhone passcode. And then once you do that, you're gonna be uh, just kind of guided through just some options to go ahead and set up a new password. And it's easy as that. So again, that two-factor authentication actually makes this option pretty easy as far as getting a new password set up. Now, if changing your password that way was not an option for you, certainly some other things you can try. Um, one of those is going to iforgot.apple.com. Uh, so we'll have a link in the description below to uh, just an article that has just some more detailed options as far as recovering your Apple ID uh, if you if you can't get access to it. Um, and it will include just a link to the I Forgot webpage. But if you just go to a browser and type in iforgot.apple.com, you'll get a page that looks a little bit like this. Now, you're going to get an option to either get an email or answer security questions. If you choose to get an email, just go to your email. You should get a link that will take you to uh, another page to uh, reset your password. So that page will look something like this. So again, you'll just get an option to uh, just reset a password there. Um, once you choose a new password, uh, just another suggestion use a password manager. I mean, these days, uh, one password, dash lane, there's so many good options. Uh, it's really good idea to do that just so that you can uh, kind of recover your passwords if you need to. Um, if you don't feel like doing that, just make sure you keep your new password in a safe place. Now, once you have changed your password, you're going to get a page uh, that just looks like this. So you'll see that you've changed your password. Um, you can go to your Apple ID account. And then from here, you should be able to access your Apple ID account on your iPhone, iPad, whatever device you are trying to log in on. So hopefully these options have helped you uh, just change your password and get access to your Apple ID. Um, if not, like I mentioned earlier, we'll have a link in the description that'll go to uh, just a, a page on our website that'll uh, give you some more options and things that you can try uh, if you are struggling to get access to your Apple ID. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, that's it for this one, and I will see you in the next one. Later.